What's going on guys? Greggles TV, the Nvidia Shield TV 3.2 software upgrade brought with it the Plex Media Server. Now Plex Media Server is going to allow you to host your movies, TV shows, home videos, music, photos, all from your Nvidia Shield TV. You can plug in an external drive, a NAS, all kinds of cool stuff. And I'm going to show you how to set it up. So first thing you want to do is open Plex on your Nvidia Shield TV. And this is after you do the 3.2 upgrade, obviously. So open up Plex. Now, right when you open up Plex, it's going to ask you either to sign in or sign up. Now, if you already have a Plex account, just sign in. Otherwise, what you wanna do is go to plex.tv slash sign up on your computer or your mobile device. Once you get to the sign up page, if you have to sign up, you just put in your email address, a username, a password, and then confirm your password. And then all you do is create your account. Now that you're ready to sign in, all you do is click on sign in. And now you just need to sign in to Plex from your computer or your mobile device uh, using a browser. So just go to that website, plex.tv slash link. And then once you log in with your Plex username and password, you just put in that code that you have and hit link. And right when you open up Plex, it says you have a Plex media server on this device. So on the bottom left, you'll see a little checkbox, enable Plex media server, leave it checked and hit next. Hit next again. Hit next one more time. Hit allow. Hit next. And Plex Media Server is starting for the first time, so please wait, this will take a few minutes here. Now this is an important sentence right here. If you see it right, it says, if you haven't already, you can now add your personal media to the server and access the server settings by visiting plex.tv. So we're gonna have to go to plex.tv. Before we do that, let's hit finish. Once you have it linked, it's gonna to start to connect on your NVIDIA Shield console, and it brings you right into Plex. Now that Plex is signed in, it will automatically pull in any movies, music, videos, TV shows, whatever you have on your internal storage of your NVIDIA Shield TV. If you have a micro SD, a USB, or a NAS drive connected to your NVIDIA Shield TV and you wanna see that on your Plex media server, you actually need to go to the computer. So now let's go to plex.tv on the computer. Now that you're at the plex.tv website, in the top right, click sign in. And then in the top right, click launch. And this screen's gonna pop up, it's gonna say great, we found a server, and it's gonna ask you to name your server. I'm gonna call my Shield Office, because I keep my Shield in my office. I'm also gonna make sure that allow me to access my media outside my home is also checked. That way I can access all my media from anywhere in the world as long as I have an internet connection. Hit next. This is where you wanna make sure that if you have a USB drive, micro SD, or a NAS, you wanna make sure that it's connected to your NVIDIA Shield TV. So hit add to library. Now you're gonna select what type of media are you doing. So I'm gonna choose movies. I'm gonna leave it as, uh, I'm gonna call it movies external because it's coming from my external drive. Hit next. And then it's gonna say browse for a media folder. And my external drive is called Lexar. So I click on that on the left-hand side. And then I'm just gonna click add. I don't need to select one of these directories because it's in the main directory. I'm just gonna click add. And then add to library. I'm gonna hit add library again. I'm gonna do music. I'm gonna again call it music external. Next, browse for media folder. Again, it's on my Lexar and it's on the main directory. So I'm just gonna click add, add to library. And you can keep doing add to library if you have TV shows, photos, or home videos. Now I'm just gonna click next. I'm gonna uncheck send anonymous data to Plex. You can keep it checked if you want. And then I'm gonna click done. And there you go. It automatically found some of my stuff I have on there. So I have the Deadpool movie. I have NVIDIA Shield TV stick mats, the video I posted the other day. I put this video on the external drive. And then it also found some of the stuff that's on the internal drive as well automatically like it did in the beginning. So I can play my media from the website if I want. 
Also, you can play your media anywhere that you can download the Plex app. The Plex app can be downloaded on the iOS store, the Android, Google Play store, TVs, it's almost everywhere. It's kind of ridiculous on a Roku. So make sure you download the uh, Plex app and then just log in with your Plex username and password and you'll be able to stream all your media from your Nvidia Shield TV to those devices. Some other cool things in here is if you add more drives uh, or things like that, all you have to do is log into this website like you did just a minute ago and you have these plus signs. All you do is hit that plus sign. Once you hit that plus sign, you just choose the library type, hit next, browse for the media, and then hit add. If you wanna remove one, all you have to do is put your mouse so it's highlighted on it and then click this pencil and then click delete library. You can also add additional folders so that everything goes into that specific folder. So if I wanted to have one folder for all my music, have it be internal or external, I can just hit add, browse for media, Lexar, and hit add, and it would show up in my main one as well. On the bottom left here, you can also install some online content. So if you go to channels on the left-hand side, and then install channels, it's gonna look at all of these. I'm gonna go to most popular. And you can install Vimeo or iTunes movie trailers, MTV music video, CNN. So I'll just install uh, Pandora here. You just click on it, hit install. And this is gonna show up on your Nvidia Shield TV Plex media server. Now let's go back to the Nvidia Shield TV so I can show you how it looks on the Plex media server. Now since we've added additional media to the Plex media server, it automatically shows up in here. You see movies external, I can click on it. I can look at all my movies external. If you click on it, you can actually play it from here. It's already stored here, but you could play it here. Same thing with music external. You see that I have my song right here. Photos, I have a photo stored on my internal drive. Sometimes when you add media, it will not show up in here. If you want it to show up, all you do is in the top right there, just click update library and it'll scan for any uh, updates that are in that folder. Now let's go to the Plex media player on one of our devices. Now on the Plex Media Player, all you have to do is download it on your device. Then once you have it downloaded, just log in with your username and password for Plex and you'll see all your media. So if you want to play something, all you do is click on it and then hit the play button or give it stars or you can watch a trailer. So all kinds of cool stuff. So hit that play button. It's going to play this video and this is streaming right from my Nvidia Shield TV. So it plays really well. It can handle up to three 1080p streams. Also keep in mind, go into your settings down here and go into video. And I always keep my quality over Wi-Fi at original. You can lower it if you want, if your network's not that fast. Also, if you're using a phone, you can increase or decrease the quality over cellular. If you wanna add more media to your Plex Media server, you will have to either pull out the drive and connect and add it that way or download it from the shield onto that drive. Or you're supposed to be able to go into settings, storage and reset, and you're supposed to be able to add more storage here. You can definitely add your NAS drive right here if you have a NAS drive. But also there's supposed to be a way in here to drag and drop files from your computer to your shield TV. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe. I put a new video out every single day and I will see you guys down the road. Peace.